We can find black settlements and tribes all over the world and not just in Africa. The Manic people, with their distinct culture and traditions, offer a glimpse into the diverse nature of humanity. Living harmoniously with nature in the dense rainforests of southern Thailand, they have developed unique practices and customs that have been passed down through generations. From their intricate knowledge of the forest and its resources to their traditional ceremonies and rituals, the Manic people embody a deep connection to their environment and a rich cultural heritage. Despite their remote location and relatively small population, the Manic people play an important role in Thailand's cultural landscape. Their traditions and way of life contribute to the country's cultural diversity and serve as a reminder of the complexity and resilience of indigenous communities worldwide. By shining a spotlight on the Manic people and other indigenous black tribes of Thailand, we gain a deeper understanding of the breadth and depth of human civilization and the importance of preserving cultural diversity. The Sri Lankan Kafirs, also known as the Kafirs or Afro-Sri Lankans, hold a unique place in the cultural mosaic of Sri Lanka. Descendants of African slaves brought to the island by Portuguese colonizers in the 16th century, they embody a rich blend of African and Sri Lankan heritage. Despite their small population, the Sri Lankan Kafirs have preserved their distinct cultural practices and traditions, contributing to the diversity of Sri Lanka's cultural landscape. The term Kafir was historically used by the Portuguese to refer to non-Muslim Africans, and it was later adopted by the Sri Lankan Kafirs as a term of ethnic identity. Over the centuries, the Sri Lankan Kafirs have developed a unique culture that reflects their African roots while also incorporating elements of Sri Lankan society. One of the most notable aspects of Sri Lankan Kafir culture is their traditional dance and music, which feature vibrant rhythms and movements that reflect their African heritage. These cultural expressions play a central role in Kafir ceremonies and celebrations, serving as a means of preserving their identity and passing down their traditions to future generations. The Malukan people, also known as the Malukans, are a fascinating indigenous black community with a rich cultural heritage rooted in the Malukan islands of Indonesia. Their ancestry can be traced back to Austronesian migrations from Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands, as well as influences from neighboring regions like Papua New Guinea. These migrations, occurring over centuries, have contributed to the diverse genetic makeup and cultural tapestry of the Malukan people. Comprising various ethnic groups such as the Ambamese, Ternations, and Tiderians, each with its distinct customs and languages, the Malukan people represent a mosaic of identities within the broader Indonesian society. Their unique cultural expressions, ranging from traditional music and dance to intricate craftsmanship, reflect their deep connection to the land and sea that sustain their way of life. Genetic studies have revealed a complex mix of Austronesian, Papuan, and Southeast Asian genetic markers among the Malukan people, underscoring the rich diversity of their ancestry. This genetic diversity is mirrored in their physical features, with variations in skin tones, hair textures, and facial characteristics reflecting the multifaceted nature of their heritage. The Semang and Baytek people of Malaysia represent integral components of the country's cultural landscape, embodying the ancestral heritage of the region. Originating from the ancient inhabitants of the Malay Peninsula, these indigenous communities have inhabited the region for millennia, preserving their unique way of life despite the passage of time. As part of the broader Orang Asli community, which translates to original people in Malay, the Semain and Baytek people are considered the earliest inhabitants of the peninsula. Their presence contributes to the rich tapestry of Malaysia's indigenous population, reflecting the diverse origins and histories that characterize the country. Genetic studies have revealed that the Semain and Baytek people share genetic markers with other indigenous populations in Southeast Asia and Australian Melanesian groups highlighting their deep-rooted connections to the broader region. These genetic affinities underscore the historical and cultural exchanges that have occurred over centuries among different indigenous communities across Southeast Asia. Phenotypically, both the Semang and Baytek people exhibit physical traits adapted to their environment, such as shorter stature, darker skin, and robust physiques.
These characteristics are indicative of the challenges posed by their traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyles and the demands of living in the dense rainforests of Malaysia. The East Timorese people, residing in the eastern part of the island of Timor, share a rich and diverse cultural heritage rooted in millennia of history. Their ancestry can be traced back to the Austronesian migrations that occurred thousands of years ago, bringing together various ethnic groups such as the Atoni, Tetum, Mambai, and others. Despite their relatively small population, estimated at around 1.8 million people, the East Tem race have maintained a distinct identity shaped by their unique cultural traditions and historical experiences. Over the centuries, the East Tem race have developed a resilient and vibrant culture characterized by a deep connection to their land, community, and traditions. Their customs, rituals, and oral histories reflect their shared experiences, as well as the diverse influences that have shaped their way of life. From traditional weaving and music to elaborate ceremonies and festivals, the East Timorese celebrate their cultural heritage with pride and reverence. Despite facing challenges such as colonization, conflict, and economic hardship, the East Timorese have demonstrated remarkable resilience and determination to preserve their cultural identity and way of life. Following decades of struggle for independence, East Timor gained sovereignty in 2002 and embarked on a journey of nation building and development. Today, the country continues to navigate the complexities of post-conflict reconstruction while striving to promote social cohesion, economic prosperity, and cultural revitalization. The Kanak people of New Caledonia, originating from Austronesian migrations, have a rich and diverse cultural heritage that has evolved over millennia. As one of the major ethnic groups in New Caledonia, constituting around 39% of the population, the Kanak people have contributed significantly to the cultural landscape of the archipelago. Genetically, the Kanak people exhibit a complex ancestry resulting from centuries of interactions with neighboring Pacific Island communities and European explorers. Recent genetic studies have shed light on their ancestral makeup, revealing a fusion of Austronesian and Melanesian influences. This genetic diversity reflects the Kanak people's long history of migration, trade, and cultural exchange across the Pacific region. In southern Yemen, indigenous black tribes such as the Hadrami, Shabwa, and Socotra Island people have inhabited the region for centuries, contributing to its rich tapestry of cultures and histories. The genetic makeup of these tribes reflects a diverse range of influences, including indigenous Yemeni, Arab, and African heritage. The Hadrami and Shabwa people, in particular, display a blend of genetic markers indicative of their complex ancestry. This genetic diversity underscores the interconnectedness of populations in the Arabian Peninsula and the Horn of Africa, highlighting the historical migration patterns and cultural exchanges that have shaped the region's demographics. The Actum tribe of Socotra Island, with its phenotypical resemblance to the black people of Ethiopia, presents a fascinating case of population genetics and historical migration patterns. While the exact origins of the black people of Socotra remain uncertain, there are theories suggesting that they may be descendants of East African migrants who traversed the Indian Ocean centuries ago. Socotra's strategic location along ancient trade routes likely facilitated the interaction and intermingling of diverse populations, contributing to the unique genetic makeup observed among its inhabitants. Genetic studies have revealed a complex blend of African, Arabian, and South Asian ancestries among the Socotra Islanders, underscoring the island's historical significance as a nexus of cultural exchange. The Veda community in Sri Lanka represents another intriguing example of indigenous peoples whose presence dates back to antiquity. Despite their small numbers, the Veda have played a significant role in shaping the narrative of Sri Lanka's ancient history. It is speculated that the Veda were among the earliest inhabitants of the island, predating the arrival of other ethnic groups from India. This hypothesis suggests that the Veda have maintained a distinct cultural identity rooted in Sri Lanka's ancient past, contributing to the rich cultural nature of the island nation. The Aboriginal Australians represent one of the oldest surviving indigenous communities globally, with their roots tracing back over 60,000 years, 
This ancient culture holds a significant place in human history, as they have inhabited the Australian continent for millennia, making them one of the longest continuous cultures on Earth. Believed to have migrated from Africa, the Aboriginal Australians settled in Australia and developed a unique way of life as hunter-gatherers, adapting to the diverse landscapes of the continent. Central to Aboriginal Australian culture is their deep spiritual connection with the land, characterized by a profound respect for nature and a belief system that sees their culture intricately intertwined with the surrounding environment. This worldview emphasizes the importance of maintaining harmony with the natural world, with cultural practices and beliefs closely tied to the animals, plants, and landscapes they encounter. The Negrito people, another remarkable ethnic group, are considered among the earliest inhabitants of Southeast Asia and the Philippines. These indigenous peoples have a rich and diverse history, with evidence suggesting their presence in the region dating back tens of thousands of years. Despite their small stature and nomadic lifestyle, the Negrito people have played a significant role in shaping the cultural landscape of Southeast Asia, contributing to the region's rich tapestry of ethnic diversity. The Negrito people, with their distinctive physical features and rich cultural heritage, represent one of the oldest indigenous communities in Southeast Asia and the Philippines. Believed to have migrated from Africa around 50,000 years ago, they were among the earliest settlers in the region, establishing a way of life deeply rooted in their natural surroundings. Living as hunter-gatherers, the Negrito people developed a profound understanding of the forests and landscapes they inhabited, relying on them for sustenance and resources. Skilled in crafting tools such as bows, arrows, knives, and fishing nets, they demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt to their environment and thrive in harmony with nature. While some Negrito groups continue to follow traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyles, others have transitioned to modern ways of living while still maintaining their cultural practices and traditions. This resilience and adaptability highlight the enduring strength of Negrito cultures in the face of changing times and external pressures. Turning to the Pacific Islands, the Melanesian people are often regarded as the true black tribes of the region, encompassing various ethnic groups with shared cultural and ancestral ties. Melanesia, along with Micronesia and Polynesia, constitutes the broader Pacific Island region, each with its unique cultural identities and traditions. The Melanesian people derive their name from the term melanin, the pigment responsible for darkening human skin. As such, they are often referred to as Melanesians due to their dark complexions, akin to black Africans. Within the Melanesian population, the Solomon Islanders hold a unique distinction as the only black tribe worldwide known for possessing blonde hair. Despite their distinctive physical trait, the Solomon Islanders have resided in the Pacific and Solomon Islands for millennia, their societies evolving alongside their remarkable seafaring and navigation skills. Moving to the Andaman Islands, we encounter the Andamanese, an indigenous black African group that has inhabited the islands in substantial isolation for thousands of years. Scholars suggest that the Andamanese settled in the Andaman Islands during the last glacial maximum approximately 26,000 years ago, comprising several distinct groups such as the Great Andamanese, Jaralas, Jangle, Ong, and Sentinelese, each with its unique cultural practices and languages the Andamanese have preserved their traditional ways of life amidst the changing tides of history. The Sentinelese people, residing on North Sentinel Island in the Andaman Archipelago, stand out for their active resistance to outside influence. They have vehemently defended their isolation, often resorting to aggressive tactics against intruders, including attacks resulting in fatalities. Their unwavering stance has preserved their unique cultural identity, and protected them from external threats for centuries. Physically, most of the Andamanese, including the Sentinelese, exhibit features resembling those of African populations with dark skin tones and distinct facial characteristics, contributing to their classification as black tribes. Moving to mainland India, the Tamil and Telugu people are prominent ethnic groups with significant populations in southern regions. The Tamil people, primarily hailing from Tamil Nadu in India and Sri Lanka, boast a distinct physical appearance characterized by dark skin and unique facial features. 
Similarly, the Telugu people, mainly inhabiting the Indian states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, also possess darker complexions. The Papuans, indigenous to Papua New Guinea and West Papua, represent one of the oldest continuous populations in the Asia-Pacific region. Scholars estimate their arrival in the area to be over 40,000 years ago, making them among the earliest settlers of the region. Over millennia, they have diversified into hundreds of distinct ethnic groups, boasting over 820 language groups, a testament to their rich cultural heritage and linguistic diversity. This linguistic richness makes Papua New Guinea the most linguistically diverse country globally. Physically, Papuans bear resemblance to African populations, featuring characteristics such as kinky to woolly hair, broad noses, and dark to brown complexions. Despite these similarities, genetically, they are classified as part of the broader Melanesian group, which includes various indigenous populations across the Pacific. Like many other black tribes, the Papuans are believed to have originated in Africa and migrated through Southeast Asia before settling in Papua New Guinea and West Papua. Their migration and settlement in the region have led to the development of unique cultures, traditions, and social structures that have persisted for millennia, enriching the cultural landscape of the Asia-Pacific. These communities, with their unique histories, traditions, and physical characteristics, stand as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of our species. If you found this exploration as captivating as we did, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.